Welcome to my childhood bedroom. <laughs> to make today's video a tour of my childhood bedroom. Seeing as lockdown has lifted slightly in the UK, you are now able to couple up with another household. So we've chosen to double up with my family um, and they're not too far from where we live. So we've come back here and this is my childhood bedroom. And I thought I would give you a tour because it's a bit of a time capsule. There's quite a lot in here. Um, and I just thought it'd be a really fun video to share with you. I think it's quite rare now that um, people my age still have their childhood bedroom because I know parents kind of um, get older and decide to move house and things like that. So, oh, there's a local ghost. <laughs> So I know I am very, very lucky indeed to still have my childhood bedroom and it's quite a privileged thing to be able to have. Um, so yeah, I think I'll start with the wall behind me. Now it's not always been like this. If you can see the colour on this wall here, all four walls in this room actually used to be this duck egg purple, I think it was called. Um, and the room didn't always look this glamorous and this lovely. Uh, when I first moved into the room, this is actually an extension on our house. And to give a little bit of a backstory on the house, it's a bungalow. There are six bedrooms in the house, but when we moved in, there were three. It used to be my grandparents' house, um, and we moved down here and moved in. And I used to share a room with my sister before my parents got the extension done and built three more bedrooms and a bathroom and an office and a playroom and things like that. So yeah, then I got a room of my own. I used to have everything that we have is pretty much secondhand or from family and things like that. So actually all the furniture, this beautiful piece that you see behind me and the two uh, bedside drawers were all from my grandma. So they're original French antique furniture, which is so beautiful and I love it. I love the mirror behind me as well. But yeah, all the furniture that I had in my room was all secondhand, and I used to have a single bed. And the bed actually used to be, I think for a time it was along this wall, and then for a long time I had it along here, literally pushed against the wall. So the bed used to actually be against this wall here, and I've got a few photos now that I can insert, but I had um, friends ended up coming over. My parents were very generous and just said we could basically, our room was our space. So I had writing all over this wall and you can see here, there's a few patches where they've tried to cover it up because the writing was literally in like marker and things like that. And it was just really nice messages from friends and cute little pictures and things like that. But I thought I'll show you some of the things in the drawers here. This is my little dressing table and on here we have a Jo Malone Orange Bitters candle. This is actually a Christmas candle but it's just so nice to have in here and it always smells really delicious. I have these beautiful gold masks that my mum bought for me a long time ago and people always used to think they were really scary in my room but I always loved them. And then I have a few antique uh, hand-me-down pieces. This is a silver mirror from I think one of my great grandmothers so that's beautiful and then a little old perfume pot and a few other trinket pots so let's have a look and see what we find in here so the first thing I have found this is a proper time capsule did anyone else have a super bling blackberry cover and this I bought in Thailand when I was on my gap year so I was at least 19 years old and knew what I was doing when I bought this <laughs> but that is some proper bling stuff so let's have a look and see what is in another drawer oh okay this is a watch that my dad bought me it's definitely not working um, from America when he went over there years and years ago when I must have been about four years old and I've kept this all this time. This was I think pretty much the only watch 
I've worn a few in my time, but this was my favourite thing ever, and it's got daisies on it, and it's a little denim strap, and I've always loved this. This cute little thing is a pyjama bag. So this, again, I've had it for years and years and years, and it's super cute. It literally hangs on the back of your door, and I used to put my pyjamas in there when I didn't need them during the day. Uh, just to keep them nice and neat and tidy away from everything. So that is something that I've had for an age. And I wanted to show you, I think I've only got two pieces of art in this room. But this one, again, I've had from the day I was born. And this was given to me by my dad's sister, Janet. She painted this. It's supposed to be a kind of scene from the Garden of Eden. And... As a child, I always had it on my wall in here and I always used to look at it and every time you look at it, you kind of see something different or it sparks something different in you. And yeah, I've always loved it and it's it does give you some interesting dreams though when you look at it. And the only other art piece in the room is this one. And if it looks familiar, that's because it is actually me. In case you didn't know, I am one of four kids and when we were younger, my parents commissioned a painting of each of us. And this is actually done by a family friend. I think it says 2001, this was painted. And as you can see, I still loved florals and puffy sleeves back then as I do now. Okay, so these cupboards were actually something that my mum gave me for my 18th birthday. Before I had these, and again I'll insert some pictures, I had a big rail and I had like shoe racks and things like that. I also had a magazine rack, I was obsessed with Vogue, Teen Vogue. When I was really young I had Animals and You and magazines like that. I think there was a magazine called Cool Magazine that I subscribed to and I loved and I must have been the only subscriber because I used to send off for all the prizes and I won every single prize there was to win. But in here, there are a few fun things. I have some skates, some old skates. I don't really skate very often, so that's quite an interesting one to have. Okay, what else do I have in here? Ah, okay, this was my first ever toy. So this is my clown and I'm gonna wind him up. Ben thinks this is so scary, don't you? <laughs> I do indeed. It's um, terrifying. Puppy's even barking. It's just so cute. It's got a little music box inside it. And I know a lot of people have things about clowns, but I just think this is so sweet. And my mum had a really good friend and me and her son were born in, is that sound really annoying now in the background? Me and her son were born, I think within like two weeks of each other and we both got the same first toy. Um, I think his went through a few washes and things and didn't survive, but yeah, I've had mine for years and years and years and I love it. A few other toys I have in here. This is my bear, this is a Stife bear, um, and again, I've had him since I was born. This was the first bear I ever got, and he's actually in pretty decent shape, so I'm quite pleased with that one. I think I did pull the tag out of his ear at some point, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I think when I was sleeping at night and cuddling up to him, it used to be quite itchy. And the only other one that I've got that I want to show you is this one that my granny gave me. This is, I think, a TY. Well, no, it's not. It's a Simply Soft collection. This is from the Kiel Toy Company, but it's always been really special because my granny bought it for me and I've always kept it. The only other thing from this corner that I want to show you is this box. This is actually a hat box and it was, I think, one of my grandparents um, and it's got some really, really old luggage tags on it. You can see Oriental Steam Navigation, P&O Cabin, um, and all sorts, there's a British Airways ticket on there. My family used to travel a lot, so this is really a beautiful piece of history and such a stunning box. And the last cupboard I'm gonna show you is this one here. This contains a few things that, again, are a bit of a time capsule. In here, I have one of my bridesmaids dresses from when Ben and I got married. This is so cute and so lovely to be able to have in the cupboard. I think we ordered a spare one, so this might be the spare. I also have a bridesmaid's dress for a friend's upcoming wedding that I'm not going to show you. I have my wedding dress, so I might get that out to show you, actually. This is my beautiful wedding dress. 
As you can see, it's got stunning little pearl straps and it has sequins all over it. And it's this beautiful like champagne lace. It was stunning, I love it. I've not worn it since the wedding. I've also got my veil in here, which again, you can see has tiny little sequins embroidered on. It's so pretty and this dress was gorgeous. I absolutely love it. What else have we got? Maybe this one. So this was the dress I wore to my prize giving, my school prize giving. And I love the fact that it's like gold underneath and black on top so you can really change it up from day, day to night or from prize giving to clubbing. And it is completely backless and it was very short. So I wore this with some skyscraper heels for my school prize giving and this was the prize giving after our A-levels. We all went out afterwards. It was so much fun, but I was slightly upset because they read out that everyone was going off to university and things like that and I was so proud that I had got a job in PR straight out of school and they didn't say that, they just said and Katie Matthews did really well in her A-levels and I felt like such a failure, um, but yeah, I wore this dress so at least I looked good. These are so cute, so I'll start with this one. This was one of my mum's ballet dresses from when she was a little girl and I remember I used to prance around the house in this all the time. Then I also have this one which is actually a reversible dress. I love the uh, pink and white layer underneath. I used to wear this dress all the time because you could just flip it round and I used to run through the garden barefoot wearing this. Loved it. The last dress I'll show you is this one that my mum made. My sister had a flower fairy party for one of her birthdays when she was little and my mum made me a strawberry fairy so I wore this. This was my whole costume and I had a little green hat that sat on my head like this. It was hilarious but super super cute. If I can find any of the pictures I'll insert them um, but yeah I absolutely love this. It's just nice to keep these little memories. So that's kind of the whole room. The only other thing to talk about is the furniture. This bed is from Ikea and again this was part of my 18th birthday present. As I said before, my mum bought me the wardrobes and the bed for my 18th birthday. I did have to put it all together myself um, but it was such a good birthday present because it just meant I could close all my clothes in the cupboard and they were all tucked away as before they were all out everywhere which was so much fun because my friends always used to come over and we would dress up in all my dresses I've always been massively into clothes so I had so many everywhere and that was so much fun but yeah it's nice to have them now tucked away it's been a little bit of a different video today but I really hope you guys have enjoyed it I thought I'm at my parents I'm in my childhood bedroom why not Peppy has thoroughly enjoyed sleeping on the bed while we've been filming um, if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload, as sometimes the time changes just a little bit each day. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. If there's anything that you've seen in the room that you wanted to know a little bit more about, do let me know. Obviously, I can't show you everything in the room because there's so much. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.